My name is Yi Peiji. My final year project title is Intention to Use E-Wallet and Empirical Comparison of Business and Non-Business Major Students. Kerajaan akan menawarkan rangsangan digital secara one-off bernilai RM30. Kerajaan akan mengkreditkan RM50 ke dalam akaun e-dompet pengguna. Malaysia aims to become a cashless country. In 2020, the government has offered digital incentives to Malaysians. In the current trends, most of the e-wallet users are aged between 18 until 25. There is also more and more university in Malaysia collaborated with the e-wallet providers to construct cashless campus. The overall adoption of e-wallet remains low at only 8% and it has been an obstacle for Malaysia to become a cashless country. There is also lack of related study in Malaysia. There are eight research objectives that determine the relationship between two variables which is to determine the relationship between individual technology feeds ITF and the perceived ease of use PEOU, ITF and the perceived usefulness PU. Then, the task technology feeds TTF and PEOU, TTF and PU. Moreover, this research also determined the relationship between perceived usefulness, perceived ease of use, and also perceived credibility towards the student's intention to use e-wallets. The last main objective is to identify the differences in the intention to use e-wallets among business and non-business students. The conceptual framework was constructed by integrating the TTF model and also TAM model, and extended variables of perceived credibility also has been added into the research framework. E-wallet is defined as virtual wallet service that provides users to add money and spend the same on the online and offline merchant sites. The researcher has used two research models which is Technology Acceptance Model TAM and also Task Technology Model TTF. Both of these models are used to determine the user behaviors towards information technology. Besides, intention to use ITU is significantly correlated with usage and that behavior intention is a major determinant of user behavior. This research has used a quantitative type of study and also collected data through an online survey. The sampling method was using probability sampling and the sample size is randomly chosen from minimum of 100 until 200 UMT students, which is suggested by Hare et al. in 2010. Besides, the researcher used to imitate the same sample size of 160 respondents as in the similar studies by 2, 2019. SPSS statistic has been used to analyze the collected data. This research used a small sample size and according to Palance 2013, shapiro wilk test should be preferred as it is generally more sensitive for small sample size to test normality. The significant values of 0 0.000 in this research test of normality indicated a non-normality. Therefore, a non-parametric correlation test has been conducted to determine the hypothesis 1 until 7. The result from experiments correlation coefficient show that hypothesis 1, 3, 4, and 5 have high compressed alpha value which is more than 0 0.5. It means that ITF has a very strong positive relationship with PU and same as for hypothesis 3, 4, and 5. Whereas the hypothesis 2, 6, and 7 have medium compressed alpha values which is more than 0 0.3. It means that ITF has medium positive relationship with, with POU and same as for hypothesis 6 and 7. In addition, man Whitney U test has been conducted as a non-parametric statistic to t-test. The probability value P is not less than or equal to 0 0.05, so the result is not significant. Thus, there is no statistically significant differences in the intention to use e-wallets among the business and non-business students. The research results from the data analysis indicated that hypothesis 1 until 7 has been supported except the hypothesis 8 was not supported since the results reported a violence of assumption due to no significant differences between business and non-business students. The results have shown that the TTF model correlated with the TAM model and the extended variable of perceived credibility has positive relationship towards intention to use e-wallets. There is some past research that integrating TTF and TAM model as the research framework. Next, a surprising result has been obtained from this research that there is no difference of intention to use e-wallets among business and non-business students. There has on, there is also some past research that have uh, resulted no significant differences between business and non-business students towards information technology. In conclusion, the aim of this research is to determine the intention to use e-wallets among undergraduate business and non-business major students from UMT. The data collected from 160 respondents has been analyzed. The results of findings show that all of the variables were significantly related to the intention to use the e-wallets. Besides, the results also show there was no significant differences between the intention to use e-wallets among business and non-business students. This research has provided theoretical contribution as well as current market needs to the e-wallet stakeholders and service providers. Research based on comparing between two types of e-wallet usage among Malaysian youth was recommended for future study. These are the reference articles that have been used in this research. That's all for my final year project presentation. Thank you.